Hey there. In this uh, short little clip, I'd like to show you how you can use Stream on your SharePoint site. So Stream is, uh, is the new um, place for us to put our videos in Office 365 and um, very equivalent to uh, YouTube, I'd say, but a lot of companies actually block YouTube on their sites. So Stream is the perfect place to store your videos and then surface it in your SharePoint site. So at the moment, I'm, a, I'm one of my um, communication site templates and I put the page into edit mode. And um, you'll see that uh, if I scroll down, I'm gonna just add this web part. So um, let's just add a section there. And uh, in the section, I'm gonna add a web part. And I'm gonna look for stream, still in preview. I'm happy with them still making changes and making this better for us. Now you'll see that when you add a new um, web part for stream, you have the ability to add a video or a channel. Now, um, I think it's very seldom that I'll just add a video, except if it's a communication or an awareness campaign. But if it's for training or something that will be regularly added to, I'd definitely rather add a channel. So let me just quickly explain the difference between just a video or a channel. Um, if I go to stream, um, of course, you can just um, upload um, a video for um, for bigger audiences um, that sits in a group or for company-wide channels but um, I've created channels for specific topics so this specific channel is my trading videos now I can get a link just to a video so if I go to share on a video I'll get the link for it and I can share that on a page then only that video shows but I can also get the link to the specific channel. And I'm going to do that just by, um, of course, um, going on the drop down next to the channel and then copying that link there. So if I go back to my SharePoint page, there where it says single video, I'm going to say, nope, I want to add a channel and I'm going to add that. So what happens, and this is what's great for me, is that as you add videos to that channel, it'll automatically surface it on the page. And that really works for me. So uh, I don't have to go back and edit the page or, um, you know, pick more videos or something. So that really works well for me. I'm going to just scroll down and uh, I just want to publish and show you what it looks like. So uh, again, building a page specifically for training videos and things, which means you can then add the channel to it. And as you add videos to that channel in um, stream, then it'll surface on the page. Please take note of the permissions though for your videos and how you've actually made it available for people to access it. I think um, in the next video clip, we'll talk about the difference between groups and channels on stream so that you understand the permissions better. I hope you enjoyed that and that you'll start using stream.